Hi there, I'm Dan Kenny from RC Brayshaw here in beautiful New Hampshire. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about self-publishing. The reason I think it's a relevant time in history is because recently we've had a lot of inquiries from people asking about, hey, how do I get started with my book or how do I take my manuscript and make it into a professional piece of work? I suspect it's because many people are spending a lot more time at home recently. A lot more time at home. So I'm really excited for a few reasons, but one of them is my father, Fast Ed, in Florida. He's now 83. And after 30 years of telling us he's going to be writing his autobiography, he's begun and he's doing very well. I can't wait to be the person to hand him his first finished copy. He's going to lose it. No, really, he's going to lose it because he's going to put it down and then he's going to go searching for his glasses for a half an hour until he finds his book again. <laughs> so by self-publishing, you have complete control over the content, editing, quantities, and distribution method, whether it be a soft cover, paperback, a hard cover, case bound, or an ebook that you can read on your gadgets, or a combination of all three. R.C. Brayshaw has been helping aspiring authors since the late 1980s when electronic publishing first emerged. Now, a couple of the key benefits of electronic publishing is you can print as few or as many as you like, as opposed to printing tens of thousands, warehousing them, and hope they sell. Once we have your file set up in our system, it basically becomes a print-on-demand model, whereby you can call and say, hey, uh, I need 100 books for next weekend. Not a problem. We pull it out of our archives, print them, bind them, and you'll have your books within a week or less. So here's a few things to consider as you get started. What size book would you like? Five and a half, eight and a half, six by nine, eight and a half by 11, or any custom size. But keep in mind, generally the smaller the size of your book, the lower the cost. And that's because we can impose more pages on a sheet when we print them. So here's a few things we generally don't think about until we're doing something like this, such as formatting, oh, do I want headers and footers? How about a dedication page? What about a table of contents? How about photos and illustrations? Not only do photos add impact, but make for a more interesting read. Cover design. If you're planning on selling your book, we'll help you obtain an ISBN number. That's the 13-digit barcode that you generally find on the back cover of a book, which identifies the author and the title and helps with publishers and booksellers to identify your book. You may have an idea of what you're looking to do, but we'd have you work with one of our designers to craft an eye-popping publication. These formatting and all these other details are generally what slow down the process for a self-publisher. All we need from you is your story. You've done the hard part. You've written the story. Let us take it from there and craft it into a wonderful book. Now's a great time to contact us because we're offering free consultation and 10% off your first order. Thank you, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. But before we get started, for all of you people that know me, I know I need a haircut. I've been isolating and staying safe. So back off, man!
<laughs> I just wanted to see if Matt is going to edit this out. But 